I'd like to show you a demonstration of a wireless power transmission system built by Cornell College students Adam Culberson and Lucas Jorgensen. And this is a system you could actually build yourself. It starts with this uh, signal generator, which produces power at about 5 megahertz and a few milliwatts. And the signal generator is connected to this loop of copper wire, which sits on the inside of this plastic drum. And the outside of the plastic drum has 10 loops of copper tubing. Now, we could use solid copper uh, for the outside, but solid copper is a lot more expensive and it's a lot harder to bend, so we use copper tubing. The reason you want a fairly thick piece of copper is because the resistance in this loop has to be pretty small to keep the resonance very sharp. Now, there's a similar drum here, same resonant frequency, same size drum, same size piece of copper, same number of loops. And again, there's a loop of wire inside this drum. And when the current is induced to flow in the copper tubing, it creates a changing magnetic flux through this white wire. And that changing flux creates an electric current. And that electric current makes the LED light up. And there's the LED lighting up. So if I turn off the signal generator, well, that means there's no power and the LED goes out. Turn the signal generator back on, it goes out. But I can also change the frequency. If I change the frequency to about 6 megahertz, the LED winks out. And if I change it to about 4 megahertz, again, it winks out. So this is a resonant system. And the LED is showing us that it's only receiving power when this is tuned to the resonant frequency. Now, there's actually nothing stopping you from scaling the system up. If you could get a signal generator capable of producing several watts of power, or tens of watts, or hundreds of watts, you could then transmit several tens, hundreds of watts of power through the system, and it would still work. You could light up not an LED, but a normal incandescent light bulb, or even power your laptop. And that would be very nice if you could do that. You could provide wireless power. Now, this is very similar to a system devised by Nikola Tesla. Uh, the difference between the system and Tesla's system is the Tesla system was designed to radiate power for long distances in all directions. This system uses an evanescent wave, which decays exponentially. And one of the things that Adam and Lucas were able to do is show that the power transmitted from the first coil to the second coil does, in fact, decay exponentially with distance. And this is the system they built. You can read more about it on the Cornell College Physics 312 webpage. And you can see how to go about building a system like this yourself. So this is the system. And thanks for watching.